Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I am delivering the statement on behalf of the Civil Society FFD Group, which includes the Women's Working Group on FFD and my own organization, Save the Children. Development partners are far from meeting their commitment to deliver 0.7% GNI for ODA and are therefore falling short to meet the demands of the moment. Whether it be the persisting global pandemic, numerous ongoing conflicts, and now the unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. There is fresh urgency to finally deliver on this commitment, as well as to preserve the quality of ODA if we are to achieve the SDGs and the pledge made by all member states to leave no one behind. Despite the celebratory rhetoric around the 2020 and 2021 ODA figures, civil society believe that much more needs to be done in the area of ODA quality and quantity. We fear the impact these multiple ongoing crises will have on ODA allocations to low-income countries and those most in need, with grave implications for children. ODA must fulfill its core purpose. It remains the most stable form of external finance to developing countries, and as civil society, we continue to demand that its integrity and purpose be upheld. The COVID-19 pandemic reminds us of the need to align our response to such crises with nationally owned development plans. Strengthening the resiliency and shock responsiveness of national health and social protection systems is an urgent priority. International development cooperation must align with the reality on the ground as captured in national diagnostic, planning and budgeting instruments. This would ensure greater consistency of COVID-19 responses with national long-term poverty reduction and development strategies. Alignment with existing country systems, predictability and transparency in financing and harmonization across donor efforts is also critical for an effective response and lasting impact. Finally, strengthening civil society participation in the COVID-19 response and recovery is a must. CSOs play a crucial role in addressing global challenges and implementing the 2030 Agenda, including through service delivery, monitoring, and advocacy, and they require an enabling environment to effectively perform their work. Recognizing that ODA accounts for two-thirds of the external finance that least developed countries depend on, we would like to ask donors how they will ensure that the critical resources low-income countries rely on are not diverted away to other urgent issues. I thank you.